Today, I'm going to share how I discovered a vulnerability in my university system that let me gain access to the college admin panel. For privacy reasons, all sensitive data shown in this video has been blurred out. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. If you're into ethical hacking, bug bounty, and real world case studies, you're in the right place. I'm Ronak, also known as Biscuit, a security researcher and bug bounty hunter. In each video, I break down real bugs I found, step by step in simple English so anyone can understand. Whether you're just starting out or already hunting, there's something here for you. So let's jump into today's story. A few months back, I was casually checking my second year computer science results on the university website. While browsing, I noticed something unusual. Two visible panels, one for the university and another for the college. Normally, admin panels like these are hidden or restricted, so seeing them openly listed was surprising. Out of curiosity, I first explored the university panel, but there wasn't anything useful there. Then I moved on to the college panel and found a password reset page. That's when I thought, why not test this feature a bit? The login page had two input fields, college login ID and password. I tried some common guesses like admin, user, teacher, and student, but none of them worked. So I decided to skip straight to the forgot password page to see what I could find there. On the forgot password page, it asked for a college code. Luckily, this was just a four digit code, which meant it could be easily brute forced. After successfully brute forcing the correct college code, I entered it on the forgot password page. It redirected me to the next step, and that's where things got interesting. The page was actually leaking some sensitive data, like the user ID, which is basically the college login ID and the mobile number linked to the college. I tried entering some default OTPs like 00000999999 and even a blank field. Sometimes developers use these as temporary values, but none of them worked here. So I decided to dig deeper. I purposely entered a wrong OTP and started intercepting the request using Burp Suite, a web application pen testing tool that works like a proxy. And here's the catch. The HTTP request I intercepted, which had my wrong OTP, contained some really interesting parameters. First, there was logid, which revealed the college login ID, then pass, which was actually leaking the OTP itself. And finally, SMS mobile, which exposed the mobile number linked to the college. With just this one request, I had all the sensitive data I needed to reset the password and get into the college panel. After entering the correct leaked OTP, I set a new password. And just like that, I got access to the college panel like a pro. <clears throat> now let's break down the entire workflow so it's easy to understand. First, I visited the university website and navigated to the college panel. Then I clicked on the reset password option. It asked for the college code. And since it was just a four digit number, I brute forced it. Once I got past that, I intercepted the request using Burp Suite and started analyzing the HTTP traffic. That's where I noticed a few parameters were leaking sensitive details, including the actual OTP password. I used that OTP, set a new password, and logged into the college panel. And yes, once inside, the panel was exposing personal details of all students, like emails, addresses, phone numbers, and roll numbers. And that wraps up today's case study. This bug may look simple, but it highlights how generating OTPs on the client side and exposing them in HTTP requests can lead to serious security issues. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and keeps me motivated to share more real bug bounty stories. Keep learning, keep hacking, and I'll see you in the next one.